Back again for another unboxing. Uh, today, I just got some new poles. Lecky, uh, these are the FX1 Super Light poles. Um, reason why I got these, I'm a big fan of Lecky. And if you've watched my channel for a little while, you know last August at AC100, I snapped one. So yeah, down to one, <clears throat> needed to get a new set. Um, these are like two years old, three years old at this point. So a lot of mileage, a lot of vert on these guys. Um, and yeah, I'm totally happy with the life I got out of them. But on to the next, these are much lighter. These are much newer. This is the newest model that they have. Um, yeah, seems like, seems like some good improvements. So let's take this thing apart and see what you do. All right, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and compare our new poles to the old set. Um, right away, I can tell there's like a bunch of a bunch of differences between the uh, the new and the old. So it's the Z collapsible style that we're all used to. Um, go ahead and fill her up. So yeah, uh, right away, these old poles, the old Leckies that I have, have this big aluminum insert that goes in between each part where it connects. Um, that's a lot of weight. And this doesn't have that. And the shaft also is much, much thinner than this one. So this is considerably lighter. This is considerably less pole, which is crazy because these things were already so far ahead of the game, way better than the Black Diamonds, way better than any other poles that I've tried on the market. Um, but yeah, so that's the first big change. The shaft is much smaller. The, uh, the, the connection points, way, way different. Much, much lighter. Um, still got the nice aggressive tip here. Make sure you're gripping when you're sticking. And then another huge difference, check this out, is the grips on these. So you still have the shark attachment. We'll go over that in a second. But instead of this big piece of plastic and all this extra cork, it's just enough for the hand. Very small amount of plastic at the top. And uh, yeah, just, <laughs> it's crazy how much more lightweight uh, this new model feels, the FX1 Superlight uh, by Lecky. So I got the 125, um, you know, depending on what kind of, you know, how you use your poles, what, what you're doing, like how tall you are, stuff like that. Everyone's gonna pick a different length. I'm 5'6", I like the 125s. I like to have a little bit longer of a pole when I'm doing the big climbs, the big mountain stuff. So that's why I went with the 125 again, like these ones were in the first place. So with the shark handle, if you've never used this, if you've never tried a lecky pole or uh, you know anything like that, it's awesome. It's the best. So for 100 milers and you know any of these long, long, long races. The weight of these poles like might seem ridiculous, like, oh, this one's lighter than this one by like a few grams. That's huge. Cause when you're running hundred plus miles, 200 plus miles, like you're going to be pole striking 150,000 times, 200,000 times, which is a big deal. I mean, that's a lot uh, of times that you're lifting, planting and pushing through your pole. So 
The more efficient this piece can be, the better. And with this shark grip attachment here, you wear these little, little hand grips, and then right at the top, you have this loop that you clip into, and then that way, you don't even have to hold the pole. You just, you're clipped in. That way on the uphills, especially late in a race, like you're not having to grip this thing to still get that, that good push because it's all just connected to your hand. So it's much more efficient. Um, it, you know, there's no better way at doing it. The straps, everyone hates that. Most people don't even know how to use them. Um, so, so this shark connection, this is, I think there's a few other companies making this stuff now, but Lecky's been doing it for a really long time and they're by far the best, by far the best. So yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of big improvements between the new model, the FX1 Superlight and this old, I think this was like the micro trail. They don't make it anymore, so it doesn't matter. But uh, this was an awesome pull. I, I was super bummed when I snapped it at the AC100, but yeah, it was time. So we invested $219 uh, later, and we have a fresh set of amazing poles that I'm very excited to get to using. Um, yeah, so one last thing here, if you watch to the end of the video, I am gonna be doing my 2023 race calendar uh, kind of situation soon. I have one more lottery to get through, waiting on the San Juan Solstice 50 mile lottery. If I get in that race, it kind of dictates what other races I'm doing at the beginning of the year, leading up to my A race, which uh, it, it will be the longest I've ever gone. So these new polls will come in very helpful. Uh, yeah, give the video a like, give the channel a subscribe if you enjoy it. Uh, try to do more of these unboxings that Montac one doing really well. So yeah, I don't know. I guess every time I buy something, we'll, uh, we'll throw it up. We'll check it out. Ooh wee. Bonus time. I also got this yesterday um, because it is this season for traction. We are at uh, almost, the end of f almost the end of January, excuse me. Um, yeah, so I got some of these Black Diamond Distance Spikes, size medium. Um, let's check these out. All right, Distance Spike, medium. Let's pop it open. I don't know why you would need directions on this kind of thing, but they have it. They have it for you. If you're the man or the lady who needs directions, they got you covered here at Black Diamond. So let's open this up. This is very compact. I'll say that. If you had to carry this, um, man, my last pair, you know, a shitty Amazon pair was much more considerable than this. Ah, oh, these are great. Look at this. So you have this nice part here that goes over the top of your foot. Beautiful. Spikes feel good. Everything looks good. All the weld points look nice. They have this nice, I mean, that's tough right there. That feels secure. These parts are secured with some extra plastic, not just rubber that you will absolutely tear out. Uh, as I have on every pair of these that I've owned. So, yeah. All right, <clears throat> let's take a closer look. So yeah, they have this nice bit here, fabric over the toe. Uh, I think that's gonna be a lot more comfortable than the normal setup. Uh, hopefully provide for a lot less like riding up in different directions. You don't want these things to on your shoes. Um, but yeah, everything feels pretty solid. All the connection points, the spikes themselves, the little welds, the rubber feels nice. It comes with your little carrying case. And again, this is a very compact package. So if you have to carry this, you know, just like with the Lecky poles, these are gonna be great uh, for long distance travel. So um, thank you to Schemo Co. and Skyrun Co. for the gear. They didn't supply any of it, I bought it from them, but I appreciate them being there. I literally walked in and was like, uh, I need Lecky poles, FX, super light, uh, let's go. And they're like, all right, what size? They had them. 
Same thing with these. I was like, do you guys have, uh, you know, micro spikes? And they were like, yeah, we have the black diamond distance spike. And this just so happened to be exactly what I was looking for. They had all the sizes, so go check them out if you're in Salt Lake. They're, uh, they're an amazing store for trail running, backcountry skiing, things like that. Um, and if you're not, go online, schemo.co, um, and then there's a different tab for the Skyrun website. So go check it out, give them, uh, give them some of your business, give them some of your money, because they're a cool place and I hope that they stick around. All right, thank you guys for checking out another video. Um, we'll be posting whatever I ran later today and tomorrow at uh, a later time. So thank you again, like, subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Thank you.